Okay. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. We are in a different system now from before. We're in Chapter 2. We're in the Furabundus system. And we're about to head into Footfall. Which I think is kind of a big hub area. Wait for the completion of the ship's inspection. Uh, e. Uh, right. So we lost Hen Heinrichs, which really blows. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll find a replacement, so I don't have to go back to Idira. And there was also the consideration of uh, respecting Taco B. To something just more exciting, more efficient, something, something that just doesn't stack directly against Cassia, and compares unfavorably. I don't know. I should check CRPG Bros' uh, channel, see if he's posted any sweet builds. I believe in early access, uh, you got attacked immediately here. Your ladyship, forgive me for not welcoming you with the appropriate obeisance. We were told that you would prefer to arrive on footfall incognito, and so we are trying to attract as little attention as possible. I'm here on the behalf of the Liege of Footfall, Lord Vladame Tokara. The liege awaits the chance to speak with you at his residence, but if you happen to have other business to attend to, I can serve as your guide and tell you about the station. This is so familiar. Behind the amber-colored scattering of words of welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Someone's coming, and they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Ugh... <sighs> Who's coming? Judging by the voices, there's a lot of them. Angry. They've got teeth. They aren't that sharp. Their strength is their numbers. Pray, what are you talking about? What could you mean by such a cryptic front? Hey, newcomers! Yep. Ooh. She just collapsed. I will fight Here we I go again. Yeah, Adira, I don't know. You're... I don't know. All too easy. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're back to the bolter. Right. Oh yeah. Faith without deeds is worthless. <laughs> well, that was fun. Ow. Eventually we might not be able to just start uh, Able Yard out there in the midst of things. But for right now. I'll do it. What was that atrocity? Holy shit. Abysmal. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Christ on a bike. Quite bad. Oh! Uh-oh. Can't be good. I've suffered worse. Oh yeah, come right in. Come right in here.
Suits my purposes. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. Not a problem for me. Uh, all right. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh, we got this. This can do stuff. Anything else? Be calm. Nice. Easy peasy. We'll do. No can do. No goody. Plenty more. All right, well, uh, first of all, give him one of these. Reduced to dust. What? What? Is such a thing possible? I took care of this one. We'll rule the stars themselves. This guy... She has 105 health. I see. It will be done. I will do my duty. It will be done. <gasps> uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Tried and tested tactics are the best one. Swept on. Request approved. Try to die with grace at least. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty. Good. pretty... Good. If I may. The scriptural problem. Dead. Okay, well, um, uh, yep. Why did I not do this? Why am I stupid? Faith without deeds is worthless. Shit. Oh, my worst day. Oh. Yes. I shall not fear. Yeah, I know, but I really need to heal. Suits my purposes. Table yard. Oh, baby! Isn't that tons of fun? Finest hour to Able Yard. Victory is in reduced to dust! It will be done. I took care of this one. Nice. Nice, nice. My place is at the fall. I know what is to come. Was... Was that you? Uh, uh, I haven't. Oh, there's someone else. S somewhere. Oh, boy. At your beck and call. No, not no. Okay. It will be done. Reduce to dust.
Emperor, pr protect me. They kill, killed. Every time I warn them, and then they go all, Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? Fear not, young man. We took care of the attackers. Do you know who they were? Y your ladyship, those guys were... Uh, Anvers. They're a gang. They're the worst, I'm telling you. They're scared of no one, not even Lee Shokara. Does this kind of thing happen often around here? Shooting, yes. Attacks on nobles, not very often. Unless it's the Anvers. They're vicious. Not a week goes by without them killing and gutting somebody. They're wicked heretics. They respect nothing. They follow no rules. Alright, go and report this to the liege. Okay. Ugh. Look at all this loot. Oh my god. Combat shotgun? Well, that's fun. Combat shotgun. Is this an upgrade over my shotgun? Which is definitely uh, on this screen. Um, there's there's no doubt of uh, a combat shotgun being somewhere. Did I send it to cargo? Is that possible? No, there it is. Uh, 18 to 22 damage. So big ups on the damage. And it even has further range. It's just better. Of course it is. Hell yeah. Victory awaits! I'll lay claim to the stars. Not a whole lot going on here. Commerce. I did it. Huh? Great. Some goods. Steal that. It is mine now. I won't tolerate weakness. We need no rules or leaders. We are not an organization. We are a force of nature. That's... That's something. Glory success to House Von Valencia. Yeah, I want to make a trade deal. Hell yeah! Look at that. We can be best buds with the Mechanicus. And get Extractiums. Hell yeah. A Retobi Pattern Plasma Pistol. Oh. That is something. Precise las gun, that's pretty solid. Targeting visor, increased chance to hit targets of range 10 or further by 20%. Power axe. Heavy plasma gun, that's the one we want. Mizoa Pattern Arc Rifle. Deadly Repeater. These are good things. Fortress World Origin Tempestus Carapace. Seems pretty good. Alright, so we gotta... We gotta be buddies with them. Ship Components. Uh, fuel. Mechanicus Creation. Fuel. All these things. Just give them everything. They're our best buddies in the whole world. We love the Mechanicus. 
maybe this might be stupid. I don't know. Wow. I have a lot of stuff that they like. Trade. I bumped this up to five. What? Oh, damn. We don't even get it the next step up till we're five. And that's out of 21. Shit. I have a profit factor of 20. I can buy, like, one thing. I can't even get the extractiums. Fuck! Med kits. I gave you, like, a billion dollars. <laughs> gave you a billion dollars in trade goods and Mechanicus relics and and you give me med kits. This is a terrible deal. This is the worst trade deal of all time. I don't even want any of this shit. Shit ass. Pure shit ass. A new challenge for me. Where is this? How does one get that? What? That's nonsense. Oh, there's buttons? I mean, it could be two numbers. It could be one number twice. Oh no, they seem to... Okay, it's definitely not two number, a number twice. So it's some combination of these four. Probably. The answer's probably somewhere around here. Hmm. It's about time. Trader. Wait your turn. This ocular implant is a worthwhile investment. Grenadier's cloak. Wherein their allies are immune to damage from the wearer's grenades. Aw oh, man, you remember fucking uh Victory awaits. What was ever? What was his name? The 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 gnome from Kingmaker. It was a grenadier. It was a bomber or something. It was great. That was so fun. I think we're sort of done in this section, unless I keep wanna. I wanna continue trying the code. So let's just move on. The big world. Follow my lead. Atrium, shadow, shadow, atrium. All right, let's uh, let's just see here. If CRPG Bros got. Anything okay? He's got uh, he's got a bunch of videos actually. Wow, he's yeah, he's man, he cranked them out. Uh, he was uh, in the same sort of press early access thing that I was, so he's had access to the game for quite a while. 
Um, so he's got beginner tips, character creation guide. That could probably be useful. Officer Psyker build. Buff and blast. 1k plus AoEs. That's probably what we want to look at. Um, but he also has... <laughs> One of his first videos... Uh, Cassia Navigator build the most OP party member. Yeah, you don't say. You don't say. Hello there. Um, oh, is he playing an ultra wide? Interesting. Uh, yeah, so I mean, he goes over kind of anything. He went with, uh, Sanctic. For his psychic build. That's something. Uh, and then he goes, you know, level by level. And I think, yeah, he's mostly going... Um, for stuff that just buffs your, your ability to give other turns. Um, but he does grab... Some of these Sanctic powers, like Purge Soul, which deals a bunch of direct damage. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could try respecting. It would be pretty similar, but... I don't know. Like I said, we don't need to be stronger. Won't tolerate weakness. It's just a bummer that Cassie is so much better than I am. Excellence matters. Plenty of citizens and guards and so on. No one to really chat it up with. Remember this. Buzzing crowd has closed in on several harried looking individuals. Some of their faces are smeared with fresh blood. The angry cries and twisted faces leave no doubt a massacre is about to take place. Just cut their throats already. What were they thinking letting that ship dock at footfall? They're all stricken. No, no cutting. We get their blood on us, we'll be tainted too. Better burn them. Be quiet, you scoundrel! You dare pass judgment on others? What arrogance to think you have the right! That's Reverend Hieronymus. I'm surprised he's decided to intervene in a street squabble. What's going on here? Who are you supposed to be? A concerned citizen. An armed one. I suggest you think well before giving me lip. You got a point there. I wonder if you can back it up. Silence! You must be completely out of your minds. A band of woefully dim-witted reprobates who think themselves bringers of justice. Who are you to pass judgment on anyone? All you ought to be doing is suffering and repenting till the end of your days. And what's so wrong about that, Reverend? We just want to put these heretics to death. We're not heretics. We're refugees. I swear it on the Golden Throne. We served the Imperium faithfully until they hung us out to dry. Where were the protectors that were meant to shield the lands of humanity from nightmares? Traitors. Traitors and heretics, the lot of them. A murmur runs through the crowd. The people gawk at you, at the priest, at the wretched group huddling in the center. How tiring. The motley sea of colors that fills this restless crowd is hard on the eyes. So many hues, but most of them are acid yellow streaks of fear. Their red buds swelling, ready to burst and paint all who are gathered here. As for the hearts of those who have been forced to defend themselves, they are shrouded in purplish-black grief, but their words are as transparent as the ice that lies at the top of a glacier. But commoners are always deaf to others' suffering, for such is their nature. Interfering in their affairs is hardly worthy of you or me, Takobi. All onlookers are to return to their homes immediately. The refugees can go to Doc Alpha Row. I'll speak to you later. Comply or face the consequences. I don't want to get in trouble over this lot. Okay. Problem solved. Non-violently. The 
arrogance and self-righteousness of a malefactor. I am Reverend Hieronymus Dolors Doloroso, head of the Drusian mission here on Footfall. I thank you for stepping in. Please come see me when you have the time. We can talk then. I'll lay claim to the stars. Done. Well, I mean, we could talk to him right now, I suppose. After taking his shit. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects, Reverend. But he protects only those who are pure of heart. Do you think yourself one of them? Be leery of this conviction of yours. Many who have risen to the pinnacle of faith have fallen from it into the embrace of pride most degenerate. And you must be the young Von Valencius. That name carries weight, and it is a burdensome one, for its reputation suggests that Theodora encumbered it with many a transgression. I wonder, will you seek to shed them, or will you carry them onward, picking them along the way like ripe fruit and savoring their sweet poison? I put my faith in the Emperor. Well, then be twice as diligent, for this sector will seize any chance to test your fate. Looks at Argenta. Greeting, sister. I congratulate you on your return. Was your pilgrimage fruitful? It was. Reverend, let it be known to you that Theodore von Valencius' ship was attacked by servants of the archenemy, who appall the heart of any righteous soul. And not all of them met a fitting end. Some fled. And more than that, their blasphemous words clearly pointed to this attack being part of a larger design. Reverend Hieronymus, I wish to join the esteemed rogue trader's crew and help protect the Von Valencius dynasty from the forces of the archenemy. I am divesting myself of the responsibility of guarding the footfall reliquary. Say nothing. Follow the call of your soul, sister. The footfall reliquary will be preserved even without your contribution as it was in all the years preceding your arrival. I know what it is that calls you to follow the rogue traitor, Sister Argenta. You seek combat, for it helps you to forget how hollow and worthless our lives truly are. It offers the illusion of meaning. Perhaps you will relinquish this illusion one day, or perhaps you will die before that day comes. Regardless, I wish you luck on your new path. But before you start on a path toward your new destiny, I have a request to make of you and your companion. Many among my flock are from the poorest, most dispo dispossessed people on Footfall. They brought me troubling news from Footfall's shadow quarters. In the darkest corners where the Liege's wardens do not venture, taint has taken root. Footfall is consumed by profanity, but even here true heresy, serving the archenemy, is a rarity. The cultists who now dwell in the shadow quarters mark their abodes with a sun inscribed in blue and gold and perform strange rituals in secret. The weak find solace in believing these reports to be rumors, but I well know that evil lurks all around us, and I wish to see retribution. I come across heresy surprisingly often these days. Indeed, dark times are upon us, and wretched souls grow ever more eager to embrace heresy. Both on footfall and elsewhere, its foul buds are coming into bloom. Troubling news is arriving from many planets. There are whispers of wicked things taking place on Kiava Gamma. And just recently, a transport ship by the name of Navika, teeming with refugees, arrived on footfall from Winterscale's realm. Their world was stricken with blasphemous sedition, and such was its severity that they had to flee to save themselves. The liege refused to accept them, and so they headed for Foulstone, a desolate cloister of the righteous. It was wise of them not to linger in this den of vileness. We will verify this rumor, Reverend Hieronymus. With great pleasure. I almost wish for the rumor to be true. My heart yearns to battle some heretics. This is where I could bid you goodbye, sister. Noble Tacitus Beaticus, is there more you wish to ask me about? Hmm. Not really, I guess. He's definitely a talker. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's talking up a storm. 
Okay, so then there's this guy. What? That's so good! She can do her gaze abilities twice per turn? What the fuck? Yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. Right, so you don't spend your profit factor. You just get all these things. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I may as well take it. I should have taken all the other stuff as well. Uh, look at this. I got more stuff for you. Don't you love it? Don't you love me? Didn't even get anywhere. Man, oh man, I got nothing. Oh, right, we gotta throw all this shit into cargo. Uh, I mean, basically everything, right? Like, if I'm not using it at this moment, I, I don't really want it. Sort of. Yeah, right. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna think about it. Especially stuff that I have, like, 80 of. Obviously, that's not too important. Some of this armor probably is an improvement. Can I just select it all or something? That got us to one. We can get a militant's cloak. Wearer's first melee attack in combat can't be parried or dodged. It's <sighs> kind of lame. The elite chainsword is what I wanted, but I'm one profit factor off. Damn. Damn, damn. The power claymore? Oh my god. Alright. Moving on. None shall stand in my way. in the two-cell radius around the wear gain a plus 40% to resolve from the unyielding beacon ability instead of the original bonus. Yeah, that's so exciting. My success is an irrefutable certainty. An expected result. I mean, on the one hand, it's, it's, uh, they've gotten rid of the sort of buff based gameplay of Pathfinder but I think we've lost something in the process well in the in the whole process this is the funeral right greetings you must be Mistress Fidelio, all the guests have arrived. You're the last on the list, and we couldn't well start without you. Your presence is absolutely vital. Of course, I'm Fidelio. Uh, please, uh, we can talk later. Chaplain's about to begin. What is this tomfoolery? Uh huh. Your appearance has definitely attracted everyone's attention.
All right, let's get involved, of course. Now, I did this in early access, and then I fucked it up completely. And I think we had to kill everybody. And then we failed the quest. So let's try not to do that. Just, you know, funeral, blah, blah, blah. Over. It's not smell to this Amasek. It seems very likely drinks been poisoned. Mm. That's good to know. You never introduced yourself. How did Bellardo die? Badly. He went downhill real fast. Just a year ago, he was still living it up, storming the slum asteroids to shoot riffraff and mutants. And then all of a sudden, he was done. His old wounds had caught up with him, and he had plenty of those, both from the old days and more recent ones. Like when somebody tried to bump him off. Twelve years back, I think it was. Okay. It's about time. My warp sight reveals something. Warp sight? It's just a box sitting there. Whoa! Looks like a deliberately set you trap. Not a very good one. I wasn't on it. Hello. Where are your parents? My dad is Cass Bellardo. He's with the guests. And my mom ran away. They told me she hates dad and grandpa. I guess she hates me too. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I don't even miss her anymore. I miss grandpa. He was the nicest. My name is Adelia Bellardo in the box. Right. Have you ever heard the name Fidelio? Someone my dad is very mad at, but dad is always mad at everyone. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have masqueraded as Fidelio. Take a good look at the deceased. The implants left in the deceased body speak of his high standing. Expensive tech is typically extracted from the dead. Only the most prominent wealthy avoid this fate upon their death. This is Jerry Can Dens, known back in the day as one of the most notorious pirates in the Cronus Expanse. They nicknamed him Jerry Can for his habit of having a jug or two of Prometheum on hand. He did love burning things. Oh yes, he was a menace back then. Sixty years ago. There was a time when the sight of Jerry Can in a coffin would have been enough to make me dance, quite literally. But now, I don't know. No more jumping into the warp right from under the cruiser's nose, eh? Who'd have thought I'd be at your funeral? Reverend Hieronymus mentioned the name Master Bellardo as one of the biggest donors to the temple. We haven't been introduced. Cass Bellardo. I have the honor of being the only child of the deceased. Did your father ever talk to you about repentance? My old daddy gave up on me long before that. You mean that repentance? Those stupid ghosts or whatever it was. Pretty sure my father did it himself, the senile old kook. Or maybe it was my daughter messing around. What did Bellardo die of? Age, debauchery, old wounds. I won't. I think I did all this before, and I don't remember where I fucked up on. The Emperor favors me today. 
This was a trap, right? Wasn't there like a furnace I get thrown into or something? I beg of you, help me. But please keep your voice down. We can't let anyone hear us. It's a matter of life and death. Please understand, it's very difficult to get by on footfall with my wages and Imperial Regulation 4038L on post-mortal service workers on peripheral worlds directly prohibits the chief operator of the crematorium from leaving their workplace for any other reason other than sleep, food, severe illness, administration of sacraments. Therefore, I am forced, practically forced, to look for other sources of income that allow me to stay within the walls of this here establishment. I've set up a little, shall we say, enterprise. I replace the implants of the deceased with identical replicas and sell them to the right people when I have a shipment ready. I had just prepared the newest batch of superb, unique implants of the highest quality, but I got careless. I used my first sick leave in four standard years, and it was on that very day that Master Bellardo passed away, and his family was quick to organize a ceremony in our crematorium. I simply didn't have time to prepare, and now my container full of goods, it's in the furnace, and if you don't help me, they're going to burn it any minute. Didn't I help this guy and that was the trap, right? I think. You hid valuables in the crematorium's furnace. I refuse to have any part in this. Hmm. I, I don't remember now. There's something else we can do that doesn't involve the crematorium, right? Just gotta figure it out. Victory awaits. Given the deceased's former occupation, I have a good idea what role you played under his command. He used to call me Torch. He's Jerry Can, I'm Torch. Did Bellardo ever mention repentance to you? No, but I know what you're talking about. The scribbles in his home, right? Yeah, it happened all right. That writing just appeared out of nowhere. On the walls, the mirrors, and always the same word. Repentance. I told him to get a psyker to check his house for sorcery, but he said no. Too pricey, I guess. He said something about that, how he had already paid too much for repentance. Not a lot of psychers around, and a single one of them will cost you as much as a team of top-notch bruisers. How long did that go on, the writing? All kinds of things happened. Things going flying, people dying, servants, that is. Whenever we felt like remembering our glory days and got sloshed on half a jug of the good stuff, that's when it would happen. I remember one time we decided to see who could carve open servitors in the dark the quickest. Alright, serious talk. Nah, nothing like that in his house. Nothing sorcerous apart from the writing. As for when it began, Xenos knows 10, 12 years ago. Chaplain? Despite being Danza's, that is to say, Master Bellardo's closest associate and confessor, I've never heard of you, the woman he chose to be his sole heir. I'm glad, of course, that the inheritance didn't go to any of the others, the vultures, but I'm still curious. Why you? Oh, well, we were especially close. Unsurprising. Dens did like remarkable people, and he knew how to get people to like him. I take it you're not fond of the other attendees. I'm a missionary of St. Drusus, and the truth of the Imperium speaks through me, so I see no point in pre pretense. All who have gathered here have one goal, to bite a chunk out of Dens's estate. Ambition and aspirations of wealth are not immoral in and of themselves, but... It's just that I'm sickened by the thought that such a great man has left behind nothing but a pile of human refuse. His son is a drunk and a weakling. His friend, Dagon, is a dim-witted brute with an incredibly bloated ego. His widow made off on the family yacht in the direction of the Maw while his body was still warm, with an entourage of five brawny, good-looking young fellows. I'd like to believe that he didn't choose you as his heir on a whim. At least you had the guts to come here into a nest of vipers who despise you because Denz's money and property slipped through their fingers. I respect that kind of audacity. So did he. How was it that an ecclesiarchy missionary came to be a friend and associate of a famous pirate? I pressed the wrong button.
You know why they call me Chaplain? It's because I was the priest on Denz's ship in his wilder days. If you're surprised, you shouldn't be. There are plenty of heretic scum among the pirates of the Expanse, but Denz wasn't one of them. He was a true believer, and he shared more of the Imperium's ideals than some of those stiff-necked officers. A leader with an iron fist and an iron will. Don't we owe our conquest of thousands of star systems to people like that? And the ones he robbed were mostly types that no true subject of the Imperium would shed a tear over. Xenos. Heretics. Not all of them, of course, but the Emperor will judge if Denz was the decent man. I have a strong suspicion that someone here wants me dead. You don't say. How can this be? Someone wants the sole heir of a tremendous fortune dead in a place where the other contenders deprived of these riches have gathered? If you, Mistress Fidelio, really are worthy of Denz's name, you will deal with these minor vicissitudes. Consider this my blessing. The Emperor protects. Anyone who deserves it, that is. Settle the inheritance question. Did your grandfather ever mention the word repentance to you? He did. That word kept appearing in our house, and nobody knew who wrote it. It used to make Grandpa happy when I was little. He always smiled when he saw it. But then later, when I was a little bigger and Grandpa was already old, it stopped making him happy. He was sad. He would just sit there and stare at nothing. And after that, when he got sick... When he got sick, the writing started to scare him. More and more of it appeared. Repentance, repentance, repentance. Even in his bedroom. One time he pointed at that word and said something... Something very weird. About dead eyes. And about cobras going to class. What did you say? Cobra's going to class. Are you sure this is what your grandfather said? Of course I'm sure. When Grandpa was ill, I sat with him. And this one time he just started talking about cobras. I was sad, but it was also a little funny. Cobra, get to class, he said. Perhaps this is the old Navy officer and me talking, but I'm almost certain he wasn't talking about a snake, but a Cobra-class destroyer. Cobra going to class, you see. Hmm, maybe? Someone left some strange words in the Book of Remembrance, as if they were from Fidelio. That wasn't your doing by any chance. Ha, huh, that would have been a funny prank. But I don't play pranks. It was someone else. Maybe Fidelio did it, very quietly? Or maybe it was someone who's not on the list, but also somebody no one would expect. Boy, this is really just going round and round, huh? As soon as we go into the crematorium, I feel like that's kind of the end. But, uh, I don't know if there's anyone else we can chat with. So, maybe we do- oh wait, a suspicious tech freeze. I don't know, I don't trust it, man. I really don't. Know what's gonna happen? But yeah, there's nothing else I can really do. So I guess we gotta go in. Shit. None shall stand in my way. It's shit. Get inside. Right. That's exactly what we don't want to do. And it's the only thing left to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. It's completely empty. And there it is. That was insulting. 
last one. You have to shoot through the door. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh, I need a different. Heresy grows. Check your aim. I'll do it. trust someone like God. I'm just getting blasted. Ugh. Die, human refuse! I will give alms. I'm feeling kind. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. Coming to buy a bit of food with. Because, well, we used our soup to put you out, you see. And it was only two days old. Do you happen to know who Fidelio is? By... Fido. How do I get out of here? Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Uh, he's going to register a complaint. We, we, we got out of there. It's all good. Bunch of bullshit. The whispers talk I'll lay secret. claim to the stars. Oh, oh. to charge. Good, good. I won't tolerate weakness. Things Victory to awaits. steal from the vagabond. Pretty great. I'm still new to the art of exploring. Oh yeah, give me that. A new challenge for me. Experience. Nothing matters more. Nothing matters more than experience. None shall stand in I my mean, way. That's a, that's a take, I suppose. Would you rather have talent or experience? Horrible stench reaches your nostrils long before you see its source. A corridor where punctured pipes are disgorging streams of murky sludge. In the distance, you see the lever that opens the doors leading outside. The only way to reach it is by submerging yourself in the sludge. Too old for this sh... Uh-huh. Mm. Uh Hardy har har. Adira, I have a mission for you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she got a debuff with no name whatsoever, no description. Stinky shit debuff. Follow my lead. Multi key. Multi pass. Excellent. I won't tolerate weakness. Searching is my observance. Never doubt me. I feel like we have yet to fail any sort of skill check 
either like traps or lock picking or dialogue skill like nothing we've failed nothing it's kind of wild victory awaits i believe there's another combat right here right i seem to recall this yep yeah, and I think this is exactly the last thing I did for the early access. Hello, I'm Fidelio. Believe it or not, neither do I. Yeah, I heard everything. Dare threaten one of the Von Valencius dynasty. I will heed your cries yeah, of mercy. battle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Give turn to pass you. Simple as that. <laughs> oh, I destroyed my cover. Whoops. Anything is <laughs> on it. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Yeah, I got this sweet shotgun. That's a little far, I guess. Compared As to this. Commands, I act. Boom, boom, boom. My Emperor. My Emperor. I can escape the nice. Emperor's judgment. Destroyed my cover, though. Pascal, Pascal, let's buff us up. And let's buff it out. Not that I really need to do all this stuff, just to snipe people. The Oxide knows all. Comprehend. Done. Cassie, uh. Um, some good cover. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Another fur painted Boom. black. Give Argenta some action. Yes, you can now just shoot. Doubt is for the weak. So weak, so shit. Basically, just give Cassia as many turns as we can. She's the best. And uh, there's nobody better. I would like to get both of them, but that's not going to happen. Unless I go and stand here, bitches. Boom. Okay, and then you give this to Cassia. to my bloodline. Then she just smacks him. Boom, 71 damage. And then you do one of these. Boom, 45 damage. One of these. Boom, dead. She's ridiculous, man. It's absurd. Do not dare ask. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh. Not a problem for me.
Where is the line of sight here? There isn't one. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. I'll do it. I get to pick a new subclass. Vanguard. Uh, unyielding Beacon. Okay, Master Tactician. Press the advantage, tactical advantage. Huh. See, I see, okay. Grand strategist. Boy, that's a lot of text going on. Use one combat tactics area. Every ally inside that area gains an additional turn with one AP and two MP at the start of the Grand Strategy's next turn. That's our heroic act. Let's see. This. Every attack against the Vanguard grants them. Okay. Well, I guess we probably want Grand Strategists. I suppose. That's that. Pascal has Assassin. Okay, he can't really move that much, so that's not great. Bounty Hunter, hunt down the prey. Mark an enemy as, as prey. Whenever they kill the target... They gain a stackable bonus until the end of combat. Depends on the enemy difficulty tier. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Let's go with that. Done. Able Yard, Assassin, Vanguard, Arch Militant. Okay, so that's if you're combining melee and range. We probably want Vanguard then. Yep, done. Argenta. Sort of similar things. Uh, we could go with Master Tactician. Sure. Cassia. Oh, I don't know. Grand strategist. Dear, I don't really care about her. Okay. Uh, I mean, I hope there's more to the subclass than just like that one thing. It wasn't very exciting. I must thank you, esteemed we'll see. Kratos. After your intervention, I feel 50 years younger. Both my knee implants are as good as new. All right, well, much like early access, I guess I'll leave off this video here. But we will, of course, continue. I want to get back to that funeral and really break some legs. All right. Well, my name is Mang. Okay, watching has been Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.